Welcome to Hack Vault. In today's video, we're going to explore one of the most important elements of modern cybersecurity, the Security Operations Center, or SOC. If you're someone who is learning cybersecurity or preparing for a career as SOC analyst, this video will give you a complete and clear understanding of what a SOC is, how it works, its structure, tools, processes, and why it is critical for any organization. Let's get started. What is a SOC? A Security Operations Center, or SOC, is the central unit of an organization responsible for continuously monitoring, detecting, analyzing, and responding to cybersecurity incidents. It is a combination of highly skilled security professionals, processes, and advanced technologies, all working together to protect an organization's digital assets. Think of the SOC as the digital shield for a business. Its job is to identify threats as early as possible, minimize damage, and ensure smooth recovery if an attack does occur. Why SOC is important. Every second, new cyber threats emerge across the globe. Hackers, cyber criminals, and state-sponsored attackers are constantly trying to break into systems, steal data, or disrupt services. Organizations store sensitive data like customer information, financial records, and proprietary business secrets. If this data is compromised, the consequences can include financial loss, legal penalties, reputation damage, and even bankruptcy. A SOC acts as a dedicated 24 by 7 security defense center, helping organizations prevent, detect, and respond to these cyber attacks in real time. The SOC structure, people, process, and technology. A security operations center stands on three core pillars, people, process, and technology. Let's explore each. People refers to the cybersecurity experts who work inside the SOC. Their roles are typically divided into tiers based on responsibility and experience. Tier 1. Security Analyst. They are the first line of defense. Tier 1 analysts monitor security alerts from tools, triage incoming issues, and filter out false positives. Tier 2. Incident Responder. They investigate real threats. When an alert is confirmed, Tier 2 responders perform deeper analysis and take actions like isolating systems or gathering evidence for the next phase. Tier 3. SOC lead. They handle advanced investigations, guide junior analysts, make strategic security decisions, and improve detection and response strategies within the SOC. Threat Hunter. This is a specialized role where the professional proactively searches for hidden or emerging threats that automated tools may not detect. Threat Hunters rely on hypothesis driven analysis and real world threat intelligence to stay ahead of attackers. SOC Manager. The SOC Manager is responsible for overall team coordination, reporting, and ensuring the SOC is meeting business goals. They handle incident escalations, maintain workflows, ensure compliance, and act as the link between the SOC team and upper management. They also focus on improving the SOC's efficiency through training and performance reviews. Security engineers. They configure, maintain, and fine-tune security tools and infrastructure to ensure the SOC has the visibility it needs. Threat intelligence analyst. They monitor the global threat landscape and share insights with the SOC team to prepare for new and evolving attacks. Process refers to the standard operating procedures and workflows that guide the SOC team in handling incidents and daily operations. Typical processes include monitoring, continuous surveillance of network traffic, logs, and systems. Detection, identifying unusual or suspicious behavior that could signal an attack. Incident response. Taking immediate action to contain and neutralize threats. Recovery. Restoring systems to normal operation after an incident. Reporting. 
documenting incidents and actions for auditing and future improvement. Technology refers to the tools that empower SOC analysts to detect and respond to cyber threats efficiently. Let's take a closer look at some of the key tools. Security Information and Event Management, or SIEM. SIEM platforms collect, correlate, and analyze log data from multiple sources, including firewalls, servers, applications, and endpoint devices. This helps the SOC team detect and prioritize threats. Popular CM vendors include Splunk, IBM QRadar, Microsoft Sentinel, and Logarithm. Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR. EDR tools monitor endpoint devices such as desktops, laptops, and servers for signs of malware, unauthorized access, and suspicious behavior. Examples of EDR vendors include CrowdStrike, Sentinel One, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and Sophos. Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response, or SOAR. SOAR platforms help automate repetitive tasks like alert enrichment, ticketing, and even some response actions, allowing analysts to focus on complex incidents. Vendors for SOAR include Palo Alto Cortex XSOAR, IBM Resilient, and Splunk Phantom. Firewalls. Firewalls control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predefined security rules. They act as the first layer of defense, blocking unauthorized access to internal networks. Common firewall vendors include Cisco, Palo Alto Networks, Fortinet, and Checkpoint. Intrusion Detection Systems, or IDS, and Intrusion Prevention Systems, or IPS. IDS monitors network traffic for suspicious patterns and alerts the SOC team, while IPS can actively block malicious traffic. Vendors include Snort, Suricata, Cisco, and Palo Alto. Threat Intelligence Platforms These platforms provide real-time global threat data, including indicators of compromise, malware signatures, and attack trends. Vendors include Recorded Future, Onomali, Threat Connect, and IBM X Force. How SOC Works, Life Cycle. The SOC operates in four key stages. Preparation. Before any threat arises, the organization builds its security infrastructure, defines policies, and creates incident response playbooks. Detection and monitoring. Security tools continuously collect data from endpoints, networks, and cloud services. Alerts are generated when abnormal behavior is detected. Incident response. Once an incident is identified, the SOC team immediately analyzes the event, contains the threat, removes malicious artifacts, and begins remediation. Post-incident review. After an attack is neutralized, the team conducts a detailed review to document the event, learn from it, and improve defenses for the future. Types of SOCs. Different organizations choose different types of SOCs depending on their size, budget, and security needs. In-house SOC, built and operated by the organization itself, giving complete control over security operations. Managed Security Service Provider, or MSSP. An external vendor handles SOC services on behalf of the organization, usually offering 24 by 7 monitoring. Hybrid SOC, a combination of in-house resources and third-party services to balance cost, control, and expertise. Virtual SOC, cloud-based security operations that offer flexibility and scalability without the need for a physical location. Challenges faced by SOCs, even with the best tools and people, SOCs face many real-world challenges. Alert fatigue. Too many false alarms can overwhelm analysts, making it difficult to focus on real threats. Evolving threat landscape. Attackers are constantly developing new techniques that bypass traditional defenses. Skill shortage. Cybersecurity professionals are in high demand, and finding experienced talent is often difficult. Tool complexity. 
Integrating multiple security tools can create blind spots and add unnecessary complexity. 24 by 7 operations. Continuous monitoring can be stressful and lead to burnout if not managed properly. SOC as a career path. A SOC is an excellent starting point for a cybersecurity career. Professionals can grow from entry-level positions like SOC analyst to senior roles, such as threat hunter, SOC lead, and security architect. As cyber threats continue to increase worldwide, the demand for skilled SOC professionals is only going to grow. If you're passionate about security and problem solving, the SOC field offers a rewarding and stable career path. Conclusion a security operations center is more than just a room full of monitors. It is a highly organized, people-driven, technology-empowered operation designed to safeguard the digital life of an organization. In the upcoming videos, we will cover SOC interview questions and answers for beginners, intermediate, and advanced levels. So make sure you subscribe to Hackfall and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, stay secure.